Come Sunday by Nikki Grimes. Come Sunday, mommy wakes me up with whispers. Latasha, honey, she says to me, time to shed Dawn's cozy quilt. Come on, sweet pea, open those eyes. I rise and wander to the kitchen where mommy makes my hair and scalp tingle with oil and comb and brush. If only she didn't weave the braids so tight. I fight to keep from squirming round until the braiding's finally done. Cause once I'm dressed, I look so nice, I practically run to paradise, to Paradise Baptist Church. Blue haired ladies, we enter the church in time to greet the pastor's wife. We sometimes meet. I curtsy ladylike, then see those blue haired ladies coming for me. Like always, they're aching to pinch my cheek. That's why I run from them each week. Come here, you precious thing, they say. I'm itching to go the other way, but I hold still for a minute or two and smile like God would want me to, then act like there's some awful hurry and duck into the sanctuary. My family settles in a pew. I leave them for a minute or two to race up to the balcony and smile down on the gallery of ladies wearing hats. I could admire them for hours, hats with feathers, bows, and flowers, satin ribbons, black as jet, broad silk bands, and lacy net that ladies hide behind. Some hats are peach, plum red, pale pink, some shades of purple, which I think are beautiful, especially on mom, who often says that we should dress up for the Lord. I love the dazzling white gloves the ushers wear on Communion Sunday, and I especially love the way mommy's chocolatey brown skin peeks through the white lace gloves she likes to wear. And I don't care what anybody says next week. I'm putting on the ivory gloves my grandma bought for me, the ones with ribbons threaded through. I'll wear a matching straw hat too and look just like a lady. We've got walking in music at my church and we clap when the ushers strut their stuff, high stepping down the center aisle, their backs all straight and proud. The joyful noise choir singing loud, we are marching to Zion. The drum and tambourine keep the beat and soon my feet are tapping up a storm. I am march, march, marching in place, eyes on the altar, a grin on my face. The choir, the ushers, the pastor and me, we are marching to Zion today. Rock of my soul, I gently sway and rock of my soul, I close my eyes. And rock of my soul, I clap my hands and rock of my soul, my feet start dancing. And rock of my soul, I reach for heaven. And rock of my soul, I touch God's face. And rock of my soul, he rocks my soul. Down, down, down into the water, preacher leaned over me. Gone, 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 the fear of drowning. Once my father's face I see. Up, 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 baptized forever. Mommy let me make the choice. Joy, joy, joy is what I'm feeling, hearing pride in daddy's voice. In Sunday school, sometimes our teacher asks us kids who our favorite person in the Bible is and why. Once I raised my hand and said, that's easy. I like Esther because she's brave, smart, and she's a girl. I'm all of that too. Just ask God. He'll tell you. I wish we passed a basket down each row. That way only I would know how many dimes I gave to God and how many I kept for me. Instead, we place our offering on a plate with everybody watching, which I hate because I'm sure they're keeping track each time I hold some back. Daddy says to give whatever God tells me to, which is what I usually do, unless I need an ice cream cone. And even then, if I'm alone, I offer God a lick. I pray at the altar with one eye open. My head is bowed, but still I'm hoping to catch a miracle take place. I might see somebody's face explode into a grin, and I can maybe pin down the exact second God's spirit touches her. 
That's how pastor talks about people at church who stand and shout glory. For once, I'd like to watch God's blessing fly in for a landing because that would be a miracle to see all by itself. Sundays and church suppers go together, even better than collards and ham and honey glazed yams, fried chicken and black eyed peas and pumpkin pie. I'd better stop before my stomach starts to growl. While pastor preaches, I can't help but wiggle in my pew. Some Sundays it's all I can do to keep from crisscrossing the floor and tearing through the door that leads to the church dining hall. I check the clock. It's way past noon and pray that the service will be over soon. And sometimes, when it is, I yell, Amen, louder than anyone there, and hardly care who hears me, because all I can think about is food. Sunday afternoons mean visiting preachers, spirit-filled teachers like Sister Beverly, who usually speaks soft and low, just so we all have to lean in close to hear. The Holy One has a word for us today, children, she'll say, and right away, I feel a shiver go up my spine because I'm pretty sure it's God who's doing the talking and not just Sister Beverly. The whole church knows it too because when she preaches, even our pastor has to say, Amen, sister. Praise the Lord. Come Sunday evening, I always know without being told when it's time to go. The deacons begin gathering fans from each pew, then check underneath where they find one or two. My tummy starts growling for supper once more, and right about then, Mommy strolls towards the door. Then I take Daddy's hand, and the last thing I hear is the hum of the organ whispering soft in my ear, and the melody follows me home. Now I lay me down to sleep. I ask the Lord my soul to keep. I pray before I crawl in bed. Mommy tucks me in. I shake my head still wondering where the long day went, although I'm glad I spent another day in paradise. <laughs>